Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do an adopted British classic. I'm going to make a British style chilli con carne. Before we start, shout out to my new Patreon fan, Mike Sutton. Hello, welcome, thank you, much appreciated. And uh, this recipe was requested by Southern Boy Cooking and I'm just realising now it's probably not from the southern part of England, you know, like Woking or Brighton. Uh, more likely Texas, in which case he won't recognise this as chilli because this is a British version of that classic. So there's a few dishes that uh, Brits have wholeheartedly embraced Grant and changed beyond recognition. So spag bol is one of them. Uh, chicken tikka masala is another one. That's possibly a completely British invention. Uh, <laughs> Kedgeri. The list goes on, but uh, chili con carne, yeah, we definitely have our own ideas of uh, what this should be. And what it is, is very easy to make and very delicious. So let's get on with it. If you enjoy this video, press like. Subscribe. Press that little bell. Do those things. Thank you. Ingredients for the chili. I've got half a kilo of minced beef, ground beef, and that's low fat, about 5%. A can of chopped tomatoes, a can of red kidney beans, a medium onion and some cloves of garlic. And then we've got a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a small handful of coriander, mainly for garnish, some bird's eye chilies, four there, and also maybe half a teaspoon of chili flakes, red chili flakes. These are chipotle, which are very tasty actually, very smoky, nice. And completely optional, a teaspoon of cocoa powder. And this just gives it a real kind of depth of flavour, but I know that most Brits wouldn't use that. Job number one, top and tail, the onion, and peel it. And now chop it finely. Now peel and crush and finely chop your garlic or stick it in a little mincer thing or whatever you like. It doesn't really matter because it's going to get cooked for a long time, so it'll disintegrate even if you leave the skin on. So don't be faffing about too much. The little chilies, just slice them. And remember, anytime you've handled raw chilies, wash your hands a lot before you touch anything else, especially your sensitive bits. Now we're going to cook the chilli con carne. So we want a frying pan, good glug of olive oil and heat that. Just pop a bit of onion in there so you can see when it starts to sizzle and then you put the rest in. When it's hot, chuck the onions in and stir them around for about five minutes to get them softened but not browned. Then add the garlic and the chopped chilies and a teaspoon of cumin seeds and cook those for a couple of minutes. Next we add the minced beef and you want that to be kind of browned all over. So keep on breaking it up and stirring it until we can't see any more red bits. I've just noticed these, uh, these kidney beans are in chilli sauce. So I don't want that. No, normally it's okay, but I don't want that for this because I'm doing my own chilli sauce and that would just mess with it. So kidney beans in water. Lovely. Right. Right, so when the meat is browned all over, add the tomatoes and stir those in, mixy mixy. And then drain the kidney beans and add those and also the stock. And just let all that simmer and bubble away for a good half hour probably. Uh, normally when I'm doing this, not for a video, I'll stop at the point before we add the kidney beans and take out half of that and adapt it to turn it into spag bol or maybe shepherd's pie, or not shepherd's pie, the other one, cottage pie. So the pan's been bubbling away for about half an hour. I've just added the remaining stock to top it up. And now I'm gonna add the chili flakes and the cocoa. And I'm going to finish it off in the oven. Needs a bit of salt. You could actually eat it at this stage, but um, with longer cooking, the, you know, the flavors develop. So I'm going to give it an hour in the oven at 160 Celsius for a fan oven. That's 180 conventional, that's gas on the screen. 
an hour in the oven, that's all, that's all the time I've got. But uh, if you can time it so you've got three hours, that's, that's fantastic. And then if you can actually wait till tomorrow before you taste, before you eat it, that's even better because it's one of those things that just keeps on growing. Right, here we are, it's all ready. Now, traditionally, since about 1974 in the UK, uh, chili con carne is served in a ring of rice. Yeah, really. But more recent innovations include stuffing it inside a baked potato, serving it with chips, and uh, what's the other thing? All that flatbread stuff you can get for wraps, tortillas. It's very versatile stuff. So we're just waiting for the boss to finish work, and then we'll do the taste test. And now, it's taste test time. If Mrs. Keith Cooks duh, duh, duh. <laughs> I've died. What have you done to her? Brushed it. It was very good last week. Everybody <laughs> loved it. I'm not saying anything about this. Well, I can talk, can't I? There you go. Uh, dinner. Oh, so, sorry, Ali. You won't like it, it's too hot. Oh, right. Well, thank you for the warning. Okay, but that's uh, sour cream, which may cool it down. All right, well, I'm going to be brave and have it with the... What's that? Cream cheese in there? No, it's uh, oh, sour, sour cream. cream as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or yoghurt. That works. I'm guessing heat. It's got to be hot, because it's chilli con carne. <laughs> in it. A bit one of those little... Mm. Mm. It's almost like a language game. It's called chilli, which means hot. If no, like chilli chili means cold. Exactly. Chilies are hot. Yes. See? <laughs> I know. It's a weird and wonderful world, what we live in. And that'll be language and everything. Mm. <sighs> well, mm? this is nice. Oh, thank you. No. Well, it's one of our home things. Did you tell them? Yeah. 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 What about? Baking spaghetti. Making it into 20 other different meals, yeah. <laughs> One. <laughs> or two or three. Mm. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. It's got sort of lem something lemony going through it, which won't be lemon, will it? No. No. So, where's that coming from? What's the herb? Coriander. Mm. Maybe that's it. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm just down here eating. I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm busy. But yeah, mm. rice is nice. Mm. Mm. It's actually leftover rice from something the other day. But is it? Yeah. Ah. Thank you for watching and see you <laughs> next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, good night. Ciao. <laughs>